something I don't recommend is you funding your own film. Four years ago, I made a film called The Journal. When I was 19, and I'm 29 now, a bunch of my friends ditched me and I had nothing to do and I was angry, so I wrote this script. I kept on refining it and refining it and refining it over years. When I graduated college, I said, in the summer of 2016, I am going to make a movie. It's like kind of my life dream just to make a movie. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna start talking to people. And he's like, we gotta put an ad up to cast this thing. So like, I got an idea, we'll put an ad on Craigslist and he's typing in. I saw him, he's like, looking for a young woman, must be hot and not old. So what was that? <laughs> Sadly, that's exactly how it is on Craigslist. No one ends up funding the film, so I'm like, ah, I'm gonna fund it myself. I decided I wanted to pay the actors and the crew. This was over about nine days. That really adds up over time. The thing is, I feel like if you put in that much work, I think they should get paid. And then we started filming, and me, not being an experienced director, started to show. Camera speed. Action. No. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Sleep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The first day was supposed to take about six hours. It took 12. I didn't want to get a makeup artist. I thought it could be done without this, but we needed someone at least for special effects. And one of the actors who I also made a producer, Tyler, was like, hey, we have to have one. Ugh, because I didn't want to pay for it. I knew how expensive it would get. But pretty much last minute, it's very happy to get this man named Dennis Preston. I just want to make sure he doesn't get any blood on his uh, costume. Did a phenomenal job. Really made the movie 10 times better. <laughs> then day two happened, and these kids kept jumping in and out of the background, and it was driving us all crazy. All right, set. Me? No. So today was uh, the second day of shooting. It went pretty well. Today went well. Um, we did end about an hour late. Tomorrow I'm a little worried about. Day three, we had a lot to do. So first we went to a park to film this gross scene where Dick, played by Jack Dwyer, has this nasty infection on his stomach. Okay. I had a party scene in it in my basement. <laughs> then day four happened and thankfully we had a lighter day. Here was the problem with day four. There was a house that was set to our location. Unfortunately, I couldn't use it all of a sudden. My friend who worked on the set said we could use his house and it turned out actually great. So I'm very, very thankful. On day five were the bus scenes. Yes, I rented a bus. You can rent buses. Uh, it cost a pretty penny. The problem was the audio. It went the whole time. What are those bruises from? Unfortunately, I was never able to fix the audio on it and it really, it, it hurt the film. Day six was brutal. We filmed in a school, actually Concordia University, Chicago. That was the college I went to. To shoot there was not free. The AC was off, so it was boiling. We were all sweating. Day seven was a rough one. We were filming late. We filmed a death scene of one of the characters. Also, we filmed with a gun. It was a fake gun. So is that from the, the gun guy? Yeah, or? it's from Jim. And I had to call the cops beforehand and let them know like, hey, there's gonna be a guy out at 1 a.m. with a gun to our head. So don't worry, we're filming. Don't come attack us. Why? about that local sports game? Um, it is 4 a.m. on what well, was Monday, July 25th, and is now Tuesday, July 26th. Um, and I am just about finished with my 4 a.m. cup of coffee with the director's lovely mother. Morning. Hey, TJ. Hey. <laughs> Day eight was more basic. We just filmed a couple of scenes that we kind of missed or couldn't get to. And then day nine was the final day. In day nine, we had Dick stab his father, Richard, with a knife. <laughs> it was very fun to make. It cost me a lot of money. It took a lot of time editing. It's really tough to execute a movie. I think there's parts of it that are just hard to watch. The audio might be bad. It could be slow. I wanted the pacing to be better and it's my fault that I didn't edit it better. 
but after a while I just wanted it out there. So I put it on YouTube so everyone could see it. So to all those people making a movie, take your time, get the funds, and go for it.